Balozi wa Marekani unatarajiwa kuwataja wa Kenya wawili ambao ni mashukio wakuu wa pembe za ndovu, vifaru na mihadarati kutoka nchini Kenya kwenda huko Marekani. Kwa sasa mkurugenzi wa DCI George Kinote anazungumza na waandishi wa habari kutoka Mazingira House ambapo ni makao makuu ya DCI. Tusikilize. Of America we have prepared this timely press briefing to shed light on two suspects wanted for drug trafficking and the smuggling of wound dried trophies. The arrest contact us through our DCI toll free number, which Ryan has really been mainstay as far as our criminal intelligence is concerned. We have really been receiving so many intelligent, which we have been able to action on the same and we have started seeing very, very, very good results for this. We really thank Kenyans and everybody who is supporting us in this aspect of giving us in, in, in intelligence. Where through this line, want to give us information, nobody even when going to know that to give us information because the line is inscripted in a manner that you can never be identified by anybody, not even an investigator or the person receiving that call from you will ever know who is actually calling. So we urge Kenyans that we are all protected for the sake of our safety and security in this country. Please take charge. Don't leave any a criminal aspect wherever to affect us when we are there. And perhaps you have an opportunity to listen to the same. Please use this number and give us the information. We are sure you shall act upon it. And we are going even to communicate the result of our action. Ladies and gentlemen, we strive to protect our wildlife and the endangered species in the fight against smuggling of wildlife tropics. The United States of America has played a significant role in facilitating tracking of criminal networks. What we have here today is an example of our integrated approach that is a target of orienting to deal effectively with these criminal networks. Further, as we harmonize our efforts to curb these transnational organized crimes, the DCI acknowledges the long-standing partnership that we have had with the United States of America, enforcement uh, agencies. It is through such collaboration and intelligence and information sharing that has led to our institutions strengthening to effectively disrupt the criminal networks. As I finish, may I urge you all to be on the lookout for these two criminals roaming around freely, and I'm going to name them here. The two suspects, one Habdi Hussein Ahmed and Bandru Abrasis Sare, both Kenyan nationals, are wanted in the United States of America for drug and war drive crimes. Together, with Mansu Mohamed Sahul, who was arrested on several occasions between the month of December 2012 and May the year 2019. They were involved in transportation, distribution, and smuggling of 190 kilograms of rhinoceros horns and 10 tons of elephant ivory from different countries in Africa, including our country, Kenya and they transported this thing to the United States. They were also involved in transportation and distribution of one kilogram of heroin from Kenya to the United States. You may see the wave of the enterprise of these transnational organized crimes, how far and how fast they move from one continent to another, from one country to another. On June 14, 2019, the United States Southern District Court of New York indicted the three individuals. The Interpol issued a red notice in respect to the said suspect, Sahul, Mansur Mohammed, and Hamed Abdi Hussein, while a warrant of arrest was issued in respect to Sare Badru by the Southern District Court of New York. One of the suspects, Badru, Abrasi Sare, was arrested in Kenya at Busia Bonda Point by the DCI detective on June 11th, the year 2019. He 
He was then transported to Nairobi and later re-arraigned before Jomo Kenyatta International Airport through court. On July 2019, 20, uh, July 12th of the year 2019, same suspect, Bandru, was granted a bill of only 200 Kenya shillings and compelled to report every fortnight to the detectives. However, upon his release on bail, disappeared up to December 2019, when he was, when even was last the same. Prior to the arrest of Bandru Sare in June 11, 2019, the United States Drug Enforcement Administration, that is there, and joined forces with the DCI, Anti Narcotic Sensitive Investigative Unit, called SIU, in an undercover operation. Namu uh, DCI uh, kurugenzwa uh, idara ya upelelezi jo 